My name is Jo Taylor and I'm working on um, writing spaces in 19th century poetry, focusing particularly on the Coleridge family. My name's Katie wright Evans, and I'm studying the social psychology of age relations in communities. My name is Tom Prescott and my area of study is composing with genetic algorithms. My name's Stella Coyle and I'm a law PhD student. I'm researching the conflict between religion and sexual orientation. So my PhD is joint funded, so it's part funded by the university and then part funded by external organisations as well, so local organisations. I'm funded by a studentship from the Keele Research Institute for the Humanities and Social Sciences. Um, I was funded for the first three years from the AHRC. Um, it was a split deal where I had half from the AHRC and half from Keele, which was great. We have a, a number of postgraduate um, funding opportunities. Um, there is money from the AHRC, the Arts and Humanities Research Council, but in addition to that we also have um, Keele bursaries, uh, fully funded studentships. Um, we also um, ask students to apply for GTAs, that is graduate teaching assistantships, which means essentially that um, you're paid to teach the undergraduates um, but you don't pay any fees and you get um, uh, an income as well. I, I think the environment at Kiel is um, really, really special. It's, it's very supportive. It's not, um, certainly in the law school anyway, which is, which is my experience, it's not a massive rambling university. It's, it's contained on campus. There is a sense of community. And particularly, again, in the law school, um, you know, the, the GTAs and the, and the PhD researchers are not sort of shunted away into the background. We're very much involved and encouraged to attend all sorts of different events and meetings and seminars etc. I mean the physical environment at Keele is one of the reasons why I started my undergraduate here originally. I mean it's a beautiful campus, no one can argue with that. It's, uh, it's stunning um, all year round really. I think I'm a bit sentimental but the trees are beautiful and the leaves and the squirrels. <laughs> I think my relationship with my supervisor is excellent. I've always appreciated that he's been very supportive, but at the same time given me space to develop my own ideas. And recently we've been working very collaboratively, and the work I'm currently doing is building on his own work, and I'm further developing software he's written. People do talk about the, the Keel bubble, but what they mean by that is it's a very intense, but also a very collegial experience. So you'll really get to know your tutors, your, your supervisors, as well as get to know the rest of the postgraduate community. I'd pro probably say my best achievement was um, presenting at the British Psychological Society uh, Social Psychology Conference. So it's, it's the biggest conference in my field, it's the biggest annual event. Um, and although I've presented um, academic posters before, this was my first actual academic paper, so I was quite excited about that and it was a really good experience to, to present and to engage with other, other people in my field so I really enjoyed that and I'm quite proud of that. Uh, I think my favourite thing that's happened recently was having my composition performed in New York. It was recently performed at the New York City Electroacoustic Music Festival and yeah I was quite happy about that. Uh, the academic culture at Keele, I think, is really interesting. There's, there's always something to be involved in. There's sort of, it seems like, endless amounts of seminars that could be attended in, in so many different subjects. Um, and you could always dip into stuff that's perhaps on the margins of your discipline or on the margins of your topic. I think Keele's got a really great culture of sharing knowledge. And I think this probably originates with the dual honours degree. And this is present at all levels, though. Um, for example, uh, the humanities department really encourages um, an interdisciplinary approach and sharing ideas between different departments and you're really encouraged to go to a range of different seminars and lectures <clears throat> and I think this really provides you with sources of inspiration and ideas you never would have otherwise considered. Um, in terms of space, I've got plenty of space. I've got the same desk that I've had since I started. I've got my own plant on my desk, which I like, and people make fun of me, but I think it's important to have plants on the desk. And having technology that can cope with it, which my laptop definitely can't, has been um, really instrumental in some of the more experimental things I've been able to do with the texts. And it's just, it's been great having somewhere where I could come in um, whenever I needed, um, whatever my situation was outside of Kiel, and know that there was a space to, to focus. There's a very definite research hub, so we can run in and out of, out of each other's offices and um, ask each other whatever burning research question we have that day. So it develops a real feeling of um, collaboration across the PhDs, and it means that you feel really invested in other people's PhDs as well as your own. So um, yeah, the, the research base has been really instrumental in, in how much research and how 
fast my research has been able to progress. Often I leave my door open so and people will always you know walk past and not walk past in fact they will knock on the door say hi say do you want a cup of tea um, it, it's very very friendly and really it's a good place to work yeah. It's been very useful to have access to funding for things like, particularly things like external events and conferences. I recently received the funding uh, to purchase a laptop which I use to develop software which I otherwise wouldn't have been able to and it allows me to travel around to various conferences and concerts and perform my work in lots of different situations so that's provided me with many opportunities I otherwise wouldn't have had. And it's nice to know that, that if something does come up within my field and is particularly relevant to my thesis, um, I can think, OK, I'll put a funding application in and I'll, I'll probably get the opportunity to, to go to that. And I think it's, it's nice to know you've got that support there. Probably the real social focus for, um, for postgraduates at Keele is the Keele Postgraduate Association, or KPA as it's known. I do use the KPA. I like the KPA. I was there this week actually, and they do a pulled pork and apple sandwich, and it's absolutely delicious. <laughs> I've not had one on a par anywhere else. So if I'm feeling particularly sort of uh, like I've got a massive workload one week, it's like down to the KPA for a pulled pork sandwich, and, and everyone knows that's, that's the place to escape to. I'm very glad I chose to study at Keele. It's a, it's a fantastic university, great supportive environment and very high um, academic standards as well which I hope to be able to meet to live up to as well. I'm really glad I chose Kiel for my PhD. I've really enjoyed working here. I find the facilities to be excellent, the staff are excellent. I think there's a really nice sense of community. It's just a really great place to be. My advice to anyone thinking about coming to Kiel to um, study for their PhD would be don't look anywhere else, come to Kiel. There's so much about the place that is attractive, from the environment, the, the campus is beautiful, the buildings are well resourced, the opportunities that you get um, to meet and network with other people, whether it be fellow researchers through um, symposiums that the school, that the Institute puts on or the KPA um, to relax in um, right through to the um, academic environment itself incredibly supportive very community orientated um, and a great basis for um, undertaking your research. Yes.